so let's do now the plug flow reactor in terms of conversion. We've seen before how to get the CSDR in terms of conversion and we've also seen how to get the batch reactor in terms of conversion. We also seen in I think two videos ago how to get this equation. So if you have no clue where to get this equation please go two videos back and you will find out how to get this. Now if you know that the plug flow reactor, let me show you a diagram here, it's essentially inlet, reacts in the tube and you have an outlet. So the, def the design equation is this, a derivative of the flow of A with respect of volume will give you the rate of reaction of A. Now uh, what will happen if I pop this equation in? Well I will have this in parentheses and literally I will set this right here. Now uh, everything else is left as it's in the equation. The first thing I want to note is that this value here is a constant. You have a constant flow so I take it out and then you get this derivative of 1 minus x of a. I can broke it in two. These are two derivatives so the derivative of 1 with respect to volume minus the derivative of x of a with respect to volume everything I just said multiplies my flow and the right side stays exactly the same now by mathematics hopefully you know that the derivative of any constant is zero so this is zero it goes away and I'm left with the flow which multiplies this value here and yeah the thing is I love uh, having differentials or derivatives so I'm going to get this derivative value I take away this negative sign and this flow so I pass this dividing and this negative I pass it to the right as you can see I am a great fan of this rate of reaction concept you don't have the negative then it's not the rate of reaction it's actually a rate of production so you're going to get used to uh, actually use the rate of uh, reaction be sure to add that negative sign. Now that's the differential form. As I told you before in the batch uh, video, many persons love the integral form, which means they have already integrated. So let's go and integrate. Left side, we leave this differential of conversion. Once again, this rate of reaction is dependent on that. So we differentiate from zero to x or conversion. Then we send the differential here to the right, that's a differential of vol volume divided by this. You can take it out because it's a constant. And I think that's what we're going to do, yes. Look how the conversion is directly dependent on the volume. You start from zero and the higher the conversion, the higher the volume and backwards. So what I want to do is essentially get this here and integrate this integral which you know it is an integral of 0 to v from dv this is 1 but you need to evaluate it in 0 and v sorry 1 v v minus 0 you get v so that's why I get this volume and yeah essentially we're done guys this is our integral form actually I do prefer this one I normally say I don't prefer dif uh, integral forms I prefer differential forms but this one I think is okay. You can use this one or you can get that flow rate inside, which is also common. Depends on the exercise. That's very interchangeable. But yes, either of these is fine. So good luck with the plug flow reactor. We're going to see more examples. And yeah, next I think is yeah the pack bed reactor. See you in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. 
If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.